Hello everybody. Welcome to Piss and Vinegar. This is Mike. I want to talk to my entrepreneur friends and my food vending friends um, about the holiday uh, coming up. Fourth of July. Um, holidays are a great time to market your product. I don't care if it's Christmas, which is the biggest one of course, but um, Fourth of July is right up there. And I want you to think about what are you doing to market yourself and your product to maximize its revenue for the 4th of July. Excuse me. Now, for instance, when I used to do kettle corn, I would do red, white, and blue kettle corn, um, use food coloring or some other type of additive uh, to add to it. And and it just sold really well on 4th of July. Um, those of you that are in food vending, you should be at a 4th of July festival of some kind. I don't care what kind of food you sell. You need to be out at a fireworks extravaganza, if you will. And you need to be at one of those selling food. If you sell boats like my brother-in-law. My brother-in-law has a boat business. As a matter of fact... I don't think you've subscribed to my channel yet. So, Andy, if you are watching this and you have not subscribed to Piss and Vinegar, shame on you. Andy, if I was you, and I'm not, I'm Mike, but if I was you, I would find some kind of sale or something to really market yourself over the 4th of July. Um, we need, as entrepreneurs, we need to take advantage of this holiday and maximize its revenue so my question to you guys is what are you doing for the 4th of July to maximize your revenue doesn't mean you necessarily have to work the 4th unless you're a food vendor then yeah you, you pretty much have to unless your show is like on the 3rd like mine the event I'm doing is on the 3rd of July so I'm blessed. I get to spend a fourth with my family, um, all my in-laws and outlaws. But years previous to this one, yeah, I had to work on the 4th of July because that is the biggest day I, for a food vendor. For, for me, it was anyway. But I don't care if you sell dog stuff like my aunt. Aunt Eileen, if you're watching this, what are you doing to maximize your revenue for the 4th of July. You have to take advantage, I think. And I say, you have to. Like, I'm the boss of all entrepreneurs. So, take what I say at the grain of salt. However, if you want to listen to me, I really think it's important that you do something 4th of July-ish to maximize your revenue as an entrepreneur. These holidays and the big ones don't come around but what, three or four times a year? Yeah, Easter, I mean, for, for Christians and stuff. and It's a big holiday. And, and I'm not... I'm not trying to downplay Memorial Day, you know, which is important. Or, or Thanksgiving. But there's two or three a year that are huge for sales. 4th of July, Christmas, and I have to think on the third one. Maybe St. Patrick's Day, but probably not up to that level. Anyway, thank you for watching my little video. I got plenty more to come. I got tons of material I'm ready to upload to Piss and Vinegar page. Um, I just want to get something out today. Um, that's it. Thank you. Have a good one.